What's up, guys? I want to tackle kind of a controversial subject in strength training, and that is should I use a belt or not? Obviously, I have one, so I use one. So, we're going to talk about this a little bit, and if it's right for you, the first thing I want to say is check with your doctor, guys. Listen to them, all right? Uh, this is. I actually did work with my doctor on this just because I had back surgery and there was a lot to talk about with this. So uh, if you have any type of back issues, definitely, definitely, definitely. So check it out. Um, so why would you use a belt anyways? And let's see, for, let's see, what, what does a belt do? Um, pretty much it, it, kind of, it increases the pressure in the abdomen, which helps to stabilize this region, which in return, Going to help you lift heavier weights uh, for particularly some of the big type lifts, deadlifts, squats, those type things. So, all right, let me talk a little bit about me and how I uh, use the belt. First, uh, let's see, let's, let's talk about when I do use it. And really, there's only one exercise that I do that I use it, and that is the deadlift. So, how do I do it? When do I use it? Um, Dude, a lot of guys, I don't know what the hell they're thinking, but as soon as they go to the gym, as soon as they get dressed, they'll put their belt on and lock it in tight, and they'll wear it the entire workout no matter what they're doing. If they're doing forearms, they're wearing the belt. Dumb, 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 okay? Um, so, listen, I this is how I kind of do it. First one, when I, I don't break it out until I get to my working sets of deadlifts. And I will, um, what I'll do, I'll do all my warm-ups with no belt. I make sure, because I want to make sure my core is good to go and really good to go. And I don't want it to mask, I don't want a belt, wear the belt to help mask that it's not ready to go, not warm. Uh, so the whole warm-up, and I do a lot of warm-up sets, a lot. It takes me, my warm-ups for deadlifts, <laughs> it probably takes me, uh, 10 minutes of sets, not, not straight through or anything. Uh, but you know, I start off light, do a bunch of reps, and then I start going up, getting heavier and getting heavier and getting heavier. And, and then I'll, um, after about, I guess I'll, I'll go up, do my warm up about 80, 80 to 90% of what I plan on using that day. And I will not be using a belt until you know, that, that, that whole time. And that's because, listen, there's the argument kind of against wearing the belt is um, you know you you want to try and get your lower back muscles as strong as possible. Uh, here's the thing, and here's the thing with me in particular, and this may not be the case with you, maybe the case with other people, who knows. Uh, if I do deadlifts, like the damage I've done to my back, it's I will I cannot get my lower back strong enough anymore. Um, to be able to adequately work my legs and my back the way I, I plan on. Uh, my lower back is holding me back and there's nothing, I just can't do it anymore just because of the damage I've had. It's impossible for my lower back to be able to, um, you know, to be able to get to that level that my legs want to get to, to be able for my legs to be worked adequately. All right, so if I, if I didn't wear a belt doing deadlifts, um, my lower back would get worked, and things like my upper back, my legs, would not get worked at all. Uh, they would get, oh, just a little bit, you know, but it wouldn't be, I would be ending my set because of my lower back, and not because of the major muscles I'm trying to work, like my legs and my back. So hence, that's why I use a belt, because it helps, kind of, uh, helps me go beyond that. And so, um, if, <laughs> so if, if I didn't use it, man, <sighs> Yeah, there's no way I couldn't do it. Uh, I, and here's the thing, guys. I, I rarely do squats now, and if I do, just this is something because I work with my doctor and I listen to my doctor. Um, my doctor is someone that deals with athletes, and this person understands me. Uh, this person wants to work with me. They know what I like to do, and I miss doing squats. And my leg size is definitely as a result of my back surgery and those type of things has taken a pounding. But whatever, I, you know. So I could do, but I could do. And the deadlifts I do, by the way, are sumo deadlifts. I don't do regular deadlifts. Sumo deadlifts are a lot easier on my back, even. Um, so, 
but anyways, I don't do squats anymore. Um, so that was a beat, but in the past, that was another exercise I used this on. Uh, so, but whatever, that's because, of the, you know, again, the damage I had, and, and it's not worth, every time I used to, you know, I did squats, um, I was able to do them for most forever until about three, four years ago, and that's when I, my doctor was like, dude, you're done, man. Um, even with the belt and everything, it was not going well for me. So, um, you know, too bad, so sad. But here, guys, I don't do them ever using anything else. I don't do, I don't wear the belt when I do bench press. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't do it when I do bicep curls. I don't do it when I do overhead press, you know, or anything like that. I only do it for the big lifts. And I really think people should limit as best they can how often you do the belt. There is, I do believe in the argument that your lower back won't get as strong as possible. Yes, my lower back probably isn't as strong as it could be. But again, I need my legs to be stronger. I need my back to be stronger, uh, more so than my just that one little section there. I mean, and you know the crazy thing is, since I introduced sumo deadlifts and, and using the belt, my core has actually felt stronger. My lower back is in <laughs> rarely am I in pain now, and that's that's a that's a huge success for me. Um, so I don't know how much is connected to this. Again, with back injuries, everyone is different. Someone that has the same injury I do still might be different, okay? Just you know, the different, yeah. Oh God, there's so many nerve endings obviously attached to your spine and, and, and so, and how things go and, and, and which part of the disc is damaged and those type of things. So you can't measure anyone. You know, I can't, someone may have the same injury in the same disc I did, but may have totally different symptoms than I had. You know, injuries do not equal other people's injuries. So um, I don't, I don't, you know, again, this is something that you have to decide for yourself. I'm able to get more out of my workouts by using a belt, more out of my deadlift workouts, that is. And, um, but I don't use it for anything else. Again, this is kind of a weird thing. I mean, I, I, I do, um, you know, I guess in theory, you know, you shouldn't be lifting a weight that, uh, that your whole body can't do. Right, I get that, okay? But guess what? I'll never be able to hit my legs properly again if I don't do sumo deadlifts. And that, unfortunately, includes using a belt for me. So, you know, anyways, guys, by the way, the injury I had, uh, just kind of be, make things clear, had nothing to do with exercise. I was actually in a car accident. Um, I got T-boned. No, not really T-boned, sorry, but someone hit the front of my car, like hit my tire and the engine block, hit that part, <laughs> the hood, <laughs> and but it caused horrific damage to my back. Um, actually, I mean, I was hurt at the time, but it didn't actually metastasize over time and it actually came out you know, later in life. But, you know, so um, ideally I would not like to use a belt, but hey, this is what I'm dealing with. And um, I used them back in the days I played football, you know, with, I don't think anything bad about that. I, you know, I don't, wasn't, uh, I don't think my lower back was weak at any point in my life, uh, besides the, you know, I'm talking about muscular wise at least, uh, besides the damaged discs other than the car accident and until up to the point of my surgery. Um, but, you know, that's, that's my story. So just, you know, don't think I did it because I wore a belt because my lower back wasn't strong enough is my point. So here we go, guys. Um, so anyhow, you know, minimize it. I don't think it's a problem. And, you know, it's, but again, work with your doctor. That's the important thing here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you know, please down below. There, there's probably a lot more I could talk about this and I'd probably end up doing a second video um, on this. So, you know, we can, we can further discuss. All right, guys, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do so. We'll talk to you soon. Oh,